So we're just kind of hanging out in Yellowstone. Hey, Hi, yeah. ah, Bison. He's huge. <laughs> Yellowstone National Park. We had a bunch of things, well, I had a bunch of things to take care of during the day, like some YouTube things. But, figured we'd take our first day out here to come out to National Park, check it out in the evening time. It's about 6.30. See Aubrey over there? Yeah, yeah. 6.30 in the evening. We're gonna try a little exploration in the evening time. We didn't go very far, but we're starting first here at the Norris Geyser Basin. Me and Aubrey have the same shoes, and Mom and Dad don't have the same shoes. The important stuff. So, suppose uh, allegedly this has got uh, this has the tallest Daddy. geyser in the world, uh, also known as Steamboat. Daddy. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to see it blow. <laughs> So we're sitting here at Steamboat Geyser. It is the world's tallest active geyser. It's unpredictable, has infrequent major eruptions of more than 300 feet. The last major eruption just so happened to be this morning, September 3rd at 2.34 in the morning. And we missed it. Who knows? Maybe if we sit here long enough, we'll see another one. But how cool is that? <laughs> There is a hole in the ground. A big hole. Mystery solved. The hole in the ground is Cistern Spring. Another hot spring. Kinda nifty. I ain't getting in there though. 
So first impression of Yellowstone, day one, evening one, what do you think? It's pretty good. It's pretty cool. It smells bad, but it's pretty cool. Well, I thought you were boiling some eggs. <laughs> no, not this The sulfur time. smell is pretty strong in here, but bad. I mean, evening time here in Yellowstone, who would have thought that'd be cool? I mean, look at a backdrop like this, like the sunshine in there. Mm. Ouch. There's flies. <laughs> and I'm getting bit. <laughs> So behind me, we have the Puffin Stuff geyser. It's pretty daggone close to the walkway here. And if we look at the shape and size, does anybody else remember the Yogi Bear cartoons where Yogi falls butt first into the geyser and then builds up pressure and I have a really good idea right now. Can you feel it? <laughs> Can you smell it? <laughs> They call this the Green Dragon Spring. That's where we were standing. We got a mouthful of this stuff. So there's signs all over this place that are basically warning you that you are in a dangerous thermal area. That any area outside of the maintained path could be a boiling hot spring or a boiling hot mud pit and all it has is a thin layer of crust over top of it that has built up and you step on it you'll fall in you could be scalded you could be bowled alive and here's a good example of a hole we found near the path that shows you just how thin it really is if you can see that that's a hole that's boiling in there, and it's a little cavern. But look at how thin the rock is around the hole. It take nothing to fall into that one. Nothing. Mm -hmm. And if you fall in it, it could burn your boots. <laughs> it could eat your boots, burn your legs, scar you. It will hurt a lot. No kidding. So when you're visiting, when you're visiting Yellowstone, make sure you stay on the path. <laughs> Right, it's getting darker now. The sun's well past the mountains. I think it's a good time to head back to the truck. West Thumb. I said that. West Thumb Gun. <laughs> 
Hey, May. Can I get a ride? Hey, May. So we're just kind of hanging out in Yellowstone. Hey, yeah. Ma. Hi, Bison. He's huge. <laughs> What do you think of the geysers? We liked it. It's cool but stinky. What's it smell like? <laughs> Rotten egg. It smells like rug and pee. That's <laughs> that would be sulfur. <laughs> but they're pretty neat, aren't they? Yeah. Bubbling mud. Yeah. <laughs> cool stuff. Let's keep walking. Now this is cool. This one is bubbling enough to create waves. I hope you guys can see that in the sun. That one's nifty. So this is Black Dragon's Cauldron. This mud pit roared into existence in 1948, blowing trees out by the roots, forever changing this once quieted, forested hillside. A park interpreter named the new feature for its resemblance to a darkly colored demon of the Blackwoods. And for several decades, it erupted in explosive 10, 20 foot bursts of black mud. Over the years, it has moved 200 feet to the southeast and became relatively quiet. However, as change is constant in all of Yellowstone, the black dragon may one day roar back into life. Coming down off of the trek for Mud Volcano. Just so happens to be a bison walking in the parking lot. <laughs> They're everywhere. I'd rather film your reaction to the fact there's a bison standing up on the hill. That's so cool. Right there. He's just right there. Girls took off running so they could see it. I don't know if you guys have seen, how many of you have seen the Lego movie? But those of you that have seen the Lego movie, do you guys remember the 1980s themed spaceman? who got excited about the spaceship every time somebody said the word spaceship or he saw a spaceship. I can build a spaceship! 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 All units, attack that spaceship! Spaceship! That was Lacey with Bison. Bison! Bison! So she just surely liked it. So. If anybody ever wants to send Lacey any kind of gift, a little stuffed bison, bison keychain. Bison toy, bison stuffed animal, anything. What but bison I have a like bear. I think we're gonna get her a custom license plate that says bison one. <laughs> so not sure if it's, you know, the spot that we're checking out or if it's a Thursday, but there's definitely a lot more people than what we've seen the last couple days here. It's only stop number one though. Day three in Yellowstone. What are we gonna go check out now? Uh, Steve. Some more geysers? Yeah. And this is called Fountain Paint Pots. This is called Fountain Paint Pots. Look at that. This is called the Fountain Pink Pots. We've got some geyser action going on back here. It's not Old Faithful. We're gonna go down and check it out, except there's a lot of crowded people down there. So I don't know how much talking we're gonna be doing to the camera, standing in a bunch of crowds. Hey, look at you kind of funny when you talk to yourself. Ooh, you, you can, can feel the You can rain. feel the rain coming down from the geyser. It's spitting up over there. This is kind of neat. I'll see if I can get something closer, but check it out. 
check this out. Welcome to the Old Faithful Inn. This building's been around a long time. Fantastic building. You gotta see inside. We're on the Artemisia, Artemisia, I'm not sure, trailhead. And the end game here is to find the morning glory hole. <laughs> da -da, da. Or morning glory swimming pool, I don't know what it's called. But it's supposed to be really pretty. Kind of like the Grand Prismatic, which we'll be doing next. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Morning Glory or if that's Mirror Pond. I can tell you it's pretty, I can tell you it's hot. The heat, you feel it coming off you. Even with the breeze blowing across, it's like a sauna just pushed up against you. And we've been hanging out at, I don't know, it's been about 80 degrees here today. Whew. You see it in my glasses? I'm fogging up. This one is Artemisia. Geyser. <laughs> the last one, in fact, was Mere Pond. <laughs> Look at that. So that means that we still haven't made it to Morning Glory. That's pretty. How cool is that? That's cool. It's very pretty. You want to jump in? No. So we've officially found Morning Glory Pool, not hole. And interestingly enough, there's a sign here that's explaining that Morning Glory is actually fading away. It is actually used to be much, much more vividly blue. And you know what's ruining it? People. People have been throwing rocks, coins, garbage, whatever it may be, into the hole, which just clogs up the vent down below. So then the heat in the vent can't get up to heat the pool like it has. So then the water cools down, and when the water cools, and it's not as hot as it used to be, then you've got algae-like bacteria that's brown, orange, yellowy. They thrive in the cooler temperatures. And then therefore, the blue starts to go away. And then this cool looking pond will cease to be no more. Come on. Please everybody, don't throw things into the geysers, because it will ruin them. <laughs> Is this what the guy was talking about? This is it. Okay. Grand Prismatic. We made it. We finally made it. It was such a climb. <laughs> you tired? Yes. It was tired. But it's cool, right? Yeah. Yes. Pretty? Yeah, but we have to go back down. Remember, what comes up must come down. That's right. Unfortunately, it's not a very bright blue sky or else it'll be really brighter, brighter but still really cool. Where are we going now? To the river! Swimming! Yeah? You want to go swim down there? Yeah! We've got a long way to go down there. But it's cold! And I'm not looking.
and the Yellowstone. Ah, that's no fault. What's the river? Uh, fire hole. Fire hole. Fire hole river. Yeah. Was it hot? Yeah, it was cold actually. It's, you look no. kind of cold, Aubrey. I am. I am cold. Here we go. We're gonna cross. Is he gonna cross? He says. No, no, but I don't want to cross here. I don't want to cross here. Bobby, he's coming your way. I know. Hey, hey gosh, man. <laughs> Pardon me. You happen to have a great one. Hi, Bison. You're so fast. That's the place. We got a Bison. Smash up! I'm so excited to be going. Hold on, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Smash up! Hold up. Stop, stop, bite it, bite it, bite it. He's just chilling. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, man. <laughs> He's just chilling. That's gonna do it for uh, Yellowstone National Park. What do you want to tell them? Hope you like our video. Give us a huge thumbs, thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Turn notifications. See you guys later. later. Bye. And give us a huge thumbs up. A huge. What more is there to say? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next episode. We're heading to Grand Teton. Grand Teton. We're gonna go look at the Yellowstone in National Park. We're gonna go check out the Lewis Bowls in National Green. We're gonna go check out the Yellowstones in National Green Park. I can't.